So in Toronto, you were actually saying that this character was just as hard as to play as giving birth to three children. So, <laughs> oh, did I say that? Yeah. At the same time, maybe. Yeah. So, so for the people who hasn't seen this movie yet, why why was it so hard for you to play? Well, I just think that um, to really examine and explore a family's damage and devotion to bitterness, which really, there I mean, that's the thing. It's one thing, occasionally we're all mean to each other, we say things we shouldn't say, but there's a real kind of undercurrent of devotion to being unkind to each other and creating that space and excavating those reasons is not for the faint of heart. It's tricky. And so it took a lot from you to, to go into that person? And I didn't expect it as, um, as such. I think partly being away from my family, which I've never worked separate from my family before. We normally travel as a troop. Mm -hmm. So that was a new element of it, which um, was not um, in any way inspiring. You know, I got there and thought, oh, well, now I'll have time to learn my lines and get to know my castmates, and I was kind of heartsick. So all those things together really created an environment that I found uh, very challenging. So your character realizes that she's become her mother, kind of, I think. Uh, do you think we all become our mothers at a point in life? You realize, like, uh, okay. No. I don't. I think it's kind of a it's, a, it's it's part cliche and part true. I do think that we are the product of these two people, certainly, and, and we become um, aspects of them and elements of them, but really deep inside we are who we're destined to be, who we choose to be, and who we want to be. So all those things combined is, is what ends up in the end. It's not just one, one version of another person. Has, has your mother given you any advice that you take with you in life? She's not really a, an, an advisor. Um, I mean, she has her opinions, certainly, but she's always just been a great support for me and my endeavors. And um, I think the only time she was very definitive with me was when I had first moved away from home when I was 17 and, and uh, moved to New York and, and wanted to come home. And she said, well, you're not coming home. You stay there and you figure out what you're doing there. Wow. And uh, I'm so glad she did. You know, it was just that push that I needed and, and she must have known that. So what did you do then? You were just like, okay, now I have to I stayed. Well, I was living with my sister, so I was with my best friend, you know. Um, and I got a job at a shoe store and just started forging my path in the world. So how has this affected the way you are raising your own children? Like, has your own upbringing affected that in any way? Or do you treat them very differently than Well, you I think that my husband and I parent our kids um, very lovingly and similar to one another. We have uh, very common ideas of, of how we want to raise kids, which you don't know until the kids are there if you really are on point with one another. And I think that we are encouraged by the things that our parents did in ways that we want to duplicate and in ways that we want to diverge from. So it's, um, you know, it's all a math equation. You kind of figure it out as you go along. Do you, do you feel it's more challenging for you because you have to protect them from, like, you have a life that's out in the media and you have to protect them from, from that? or Well, I do and I don't. I think there's you know, plenty of mothers in the world who are protecting their kids in more real, true ways than I am forced to protect my kids in show business, you know. Do they, do you let them watch your movies? No, but they're young, they're, yeah. they're little kids. There's, you know, they watch G-rated movies. Um, and they've seen, uh, I was in a movie called Ant Bully, where, uh, which is an animated movie, they've seen that. Okay. <laughs> so they do understand what you're doing when you when you're going to work. That you're like, mommy's going to be another person today, or in, in a way, as best they can. I mean, they're starting to. My older ones are. They understand now. Oh, they've seen 
Julie Andrews in The Sound of Music, and they've seen Julie Andrews is also Mary Poppins. So they, they now understand one person can tell different stories. Um, and that I do that too, but it's just an idea as opposed to seeing it yet. So I've been talking to the other actors about social media and being a part of that, and I think you've chosen to not be a part of that. Well, I haven't chosen to not no. be a part of it. I kind of don't, I just don't get it. But you don't have it. a Twitter, do you? No. No. <laughs> no. Do, do you ever feel the need to like put your word out there and like, oh, I'm tired of people saying this and that and it's not right, and do you ever feel that that could be a release? But who am I talking to? I don't know. See, that's the thing I don't yeah. get. It's like screaming into the wind. Well, I guess I just don't understand it. I feel if somebody has a grievance with me, then that is a friend or something that has been misunderstood that's someone I know, so I would go to them directly. I guess there's a directness that I miss in the idea of the internet or um, Twitter. I picture Twitter on a pager, which I know is also antiquated. I don't know where you Twitter, <laughs> but but I just there's a lack of human connection to all of it that yeah. that I that doesn't appeal to me. So people are hiding behind something. I don't know that they're not... hiding per se. Yeah. I just for me, I don't I don't judge it at all. I know that it makes people feel connected and it brings people together and does all these awesome things. But for me, I like to look at somebody or just to have a more tangible connection is what, what I, as a person, am invested in. So one last question. What, what, what were you and George Clooney laughing about on that picture that's been Everybody <laughs> wants to know. I love that I have a piece of information that nobody else has. And you're not telling anyone. I'm that. not. <laughs> it looked like you had fun, though. We did. We had a good time. Is my time up? Yes. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. This movie was just so